first two title teams were coached by a man many consider to be the greatest American volleyball coach ever. He's in this week's Cougar Conversation. What made that 99 team so great? We had good players. And Hector Lebron was a setter on that team. In 2001, he was a setter on that team. He was voted as the NC2A Player of the Year by Volleyball Magazine. So he's a good player. And Ryan and Rich are Olympians. And, and Ryan may end up being a five-time Olympian. He's already a three-time Olympian. So clearly, he was a great player. So maybe it was one of those perfect storms, you know, where you just have all of these guys that end up being there. Darnell Dixon wrote an article afterwards. He says, this 99 team is the best team that BYU has ever had. Not in any sport. In any sport. In any right. sport. And he says it was better than all of these other sports. And I don't want to get in trouble with all of these other sports. But May I, have ruffled some feathers. A but bit. I sure like what Darnell wrote. You know, <laughs> I, I, I appreciated that he thought that. What's one of your favorite moments from playing in the Smith Fieldhouse? 1996, we played Stanford. They were ranked number one in the nation. And I had a neighbor who had just retired from Thiokol. And, and I talked him into going to the match. And we ended up beating Stanford in five. Everybody just stormed the court. Everybody just stormed the court. And uh, my neighbor, who was a rocket scientist, said, that's the most exciting athletic event that I've ever attended. And so I thought that was pretty good. If you could get a rocket scientist excited for volleyball, I thought, doing a pretty good job there. How did you make a school 4,500 feet above sea level a volleyball power? There's a tremendous home court advantage. So uh, there was a period of time when we were winning 90% of our home matches. We did that for a long time. It's a nice place to play. Cute girls. Uh, nice crowds, uh, home court advantage, uh, Mormons that play volleyball. Uh, pretty soon we had a bunch of non-Mormons uh, that could play volleyball, and we had a nice team, and it's still a nice team. How did you get so many international players to come here and be successful? Because you've, some of the greats have been Americans, but some of the greats have been the foreign players. Two of the first foreign players were Hugh McCutcheon and Jason Watson. Both those boys wanted to come to the United States and play volleyball. And so he was a good friend, and he says, well, make sure you check out BYU. And they're in Christchurch, New Zealand, Hugh, and Sydney, Australia, Jason. And they don't know anything about BYU. So I can tell them stuff like, wait till you see our beach. You think you guys have a good beach. Wait till you see the beach we have at Utah Lake. Boy, were they surprised. Yeah, were they ever surprised. Yeah, but, you know, both of them eventually ended up joining the church. What was your role with the 2008 uh, United States men's volleyball indoor Olympic team, and how satisfying was it for you to see that team win the gold medal? Hugh, of course, was the head coach, and so he was almost obligated to ask his old guy, his old former coach, to be a member of the coaching staff. So I got to go... They had already given away all the real jobs to the people that were doing the real coaching. So he hired me to come. He didn't hire me. He invited me to come as a scout coach. And during the matches, I was on a headset and a telephone to the bench. So I could tell them whatever I wanted to tell them. You know, they kept making one sub that I didn't like very much. And so... But they kept making it the whole Olympic Games. And so whenever they would start making that sub, I would start screaming and yelling at them, what are you guys doing making this sub again? It's no good. Don't do it. And they paid no attention to me whatsoever. Made the sub. Won the gold medal. And it was great. And a couple of the primary important players were BYU guys. So, yeah, it doesn't get any more satisfying than that. For Coach McGowan, you built a monster that's fun to watch in Provo, and uh, we appreciate the time. Thank you. It's you know, you're an old retired volleyball coach. You figure that's it. You're never going to get to say anything to anybody again. So thanks for talking.